and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Today we are looking for the for Darren's killer. And I swear to you, we will find him. But first we must visit Oda and her tell her the horrible news. Have you found my Darren yet? You may want to sit down. Darren won't be coming back. Oda's mouth falls open and she stares back in shock. My boy is dead? That, that can't be. What happened? Darren was defending one of the prostitutes from a couple of fags. He was very brave. And you should be proud. She sobs and quickly brings a hand to her mouth. Her eyes are bright with tears. God, how could this make it any better? I would never have let my boy die for one of those women. And yet, she chokes into her sleep. I can only pray the gods will be kinder to him in the next life. Maybe there's hope for one of my children. After several seconds, she closes her eyes and swallows. I, I, I suppose it's better to know the truth than to keep wondering. Thank you, at least, for bringing me answer. Here, take these. I've been saving several keepsakes for Darren one day. But he won't be needing them now. And I doubt I'll have another child to pass them on to. Hmm, it wasn't a good way to end this. Hmm. If I could, I would ask her about this dagger, but there's just... No, oh, this cough legs. Ram Shaker House. Have we been here? Yeah, we've been here. Okay, so let's go to the lighthouse now. I've a shiver, won't leave my spine. No wonder. Not at all. I don't know, for some reason, some things are like a pixel hunt in here. Hello? Oof. Hello? I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hope that helps. Yeah, just open it. Hello? Anybody here? I think those are stairs. What the? Focus on one. Run. I have no idea what they're doing, but I don't want to be. Uh, you see? You. Do this. On yourself. And he's down. Breathe. Yep, he's down. What the hell is going on here? I don't have. I will be right back because we won't make it through this fight. Of course. Let's try that again. Okay, we still cannot rest, right? Yep. I thought so. Um. Run! I told you to run, didn't I? Okay, now I can. Oh, you can. Damn it, you two! Move away! What? <sighs> you still yourself. Following your lead. Get out of there now! Uh, the 
to do with him. This one help you. Boy needs to get his head out of the books and into the fight. Oh, 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 that's bad. You. We do need to go to the salty mast to rest. Honestly, we need to rest. So. I will be back here once I've rested, so I'll be right back. Okay, I am back here. We've rested. Do all of these bars and crates are swollen and warm as if by water. The burlap sacks have all but rotted away. The glass is completely packed with grime and salt. A patina of filth and dead barnacles stretches almost to the ceiling. I will be scam saving throughout this and I will be sending him wherever we go. As it is, that's why. Uh, yeah, I don't like that they all do this. Quite literally, all of them do that. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 I have a better. That was not better. <laughs> oh, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Um. Yes. I'm fighting for life. Okay. You. This. That's just you are alone. The three of you can go help him. Apparently the pupils are doing that. No? Where are you? Where are you? There. They really don't... They, they really hate him. And he's done. Uh, some pupils and you do this. On him. Okay, you. Can you guys? Thank you. Make the bastard through that one. Okay, all of you. Finish this one. Me. Unlocked, thank you. Gosh. What? Okay, he still has some health. <sighs> My goodness. You should have just gone. No, we couldn't have gone there because the door just slammed. I saw something. I think I saw something. Wait, we can rest here? Oh, we can rest here. Oh, that's interesting. Brave <laughs> Do this. I swear they hate him. Uh. Following your lead. 
Yes. And I hate them. Okay, this. Wait. I don't know if you did that. He's down. Following your lead. Us down. Following your lead. I want them again. You help me. Okay, the two of you start putting. Uh, they are pink. Don't worry, we can not get quick Oh, there's a weapon. It's not anything here. Yeah, it's not said that it will hit target, just amazing. See, this one uh, recovery to endurance hit me, but not the guy I was aiming for. It didn't hit either. Or either. No, no, no. I'm here. First, we are resting. Yes. He awake to see Durance, his staff held in both of his hands before him. A flame flickers at, it, as, at its top end, casting long shadows across his face as he stares in contemplation. Still, for all the light of the fire, your eyes can focus on him. Perhaps it is awakening from sleep or a trick of the light, but he seems indistinct, blurred around the edges, everything except for the staff. The staff. He seems to be studying its, engra its engravings. As you watch, the engravings glow thinly red, like through the cracks of heat suffused wood. The lines stream like molten metal, burning along the edges of the staff, then branch out in an intricate series of fiery veins, vanishing thickly where his hands clutch the wood pulsing as if a heartbeat. As you watch, the veins spiral into a dozen separate circles. Circles that spiral again until they are arranged in a circle of their own. They pulse, wait, and all is strangely silent. And... And then, suddenly, there is a great light from the fire. A flashing, rushing of air, a great flash! And you awaken again to see Durance in the same place, still holding his staff, but he is solid, real. He doesn't seem to have noticed you or reacted to what occurred. Great. Durance, we need to talk. Or I fell your eyes on me. Now come the words. I had questions I wanted to ask you. If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. I saw something strange. You were sitting by the fire, and I saw a great light from your staff. Tell me what you saw. It was a flash like an explosion, a rushing of air, incredibly bright. It is the light of the God Hammer you saw. The, the God Hammer? It was a weapon of Deerwood's people, a symbol of their independence. 
It saved the dear wood. What do you know about it? It brought the saint's war to an end. Knocked a god from his perch. There are few that would deny Aothis overstepped. The god hammer reminded Aothis of it. You saw its light because I helped shape it, give it life, and release it into the world. Once seen, its glory is almost too bright to be believed, and too bright to be forgotten. You helped build the God Hammer. There were twelve of us. We fashioned the weapon, crafted plans for it, prayed for guidance at Ashfall, and it came to me there. Each of us were given a staff made from the forest of black trees around us, glowing with embers and fire far greater than this branch you see now. It felt as if the staff was Margren's own finger, guiding my hand, guiding the other eleven, the shadows of the twelve who had come to stand on the bridge to stop Aethys. Shadows of the twelve? Even in that stand. There was a ritual to it. For the twelve that stood on the bridge, there were a dozen shadows cast, a dozen faithful of Margrin, her fiercest supporters and shapers of the God Hammer. Bjorn thrusts the staff in front of him, and the flame atop it curls for a moment, the light flaring slightly. It's Peels into a ring of flames, one after the other, until a dozen is met. As twelve held Aethys fast, we twelve unleashed our prayers and let the God Hammer fall. Then it blossoms brightly once and resumes its candle intensity. In the aftermath, the shadows seem sharper in the vicinity. As if they have edges, and you blink to clear your vision, Durance is still staring at the tiny candle-like flame, intently. Shadows cast by the fire of the God Hammer, perhaps. They share their fate as well in time. Now the spine of the Deerwood is marked by the God Hammer, marked by Margaret. Durance frowns and moves his gaze from the staff. What do you mean, shared their fate? Not all deaths come with stilled breath and stilled heart, or other stilled passions beneath the waste. Some deaths come from silence. The connection we once shared with Margren, after the light of the Godhammer, it was not the same. It was as if we'd lost our senses, and sense of purpose as well. Instead of victory, being welcomed, Silence within and without. Not many can claim to have killed a god. It is less a heroic tale than you would think. And such a death, it changed our faith. All faiths, I expect. Doubt followed, and the world changed. I do not believe Margren was pleased by what we had done. Why is that? The world is broken. The wheel stilled. There is sickness in the world's heart. Perhaps the price of crossing a god. Crossing two gods. Even as Margren shaped our hands, perhaps we carried her will farther than was allowed. Just as Widewin did. Saint Widewin. Mortal arrogance to match mortal arrogance. Yet if the world had changed, then I sought to change with it. If I had forgotten some of Margaret's teachings, I would find them again. I would make her see me again. What did you do? I remembered Margaret's teachings. Her reminders on the flesh were more important than the death of a vessel. And I wondered if killing Aethys, if that had simply set him free, had it allowed him to escape his punishment and be taken on the wheel like a mortal? As I stepped from the now-blessed Godhammer Bridge, 
I thought of Ashfall. I thought of the War of Black Trees. Wondered if I needed to be burned to find myself again. That is Margaret at her heart. At least that is my hope. These are the doubts that befall me. What happened when you returned to Ashfall? The road to Ashfall is long. Gives one time to think. If you think long enough, you do not go home. I left without telling anyone, with only the robes I wore and Halgot, my staff, and my name, which is long buried. Of my fellow eleven craftsmen, disciples, I know not what happened to them, if they suffered the same doubt as I did. But it was undeserved. It was wrong. Done all that, Paul had asked. Grab victory from defeat and. and. Do you feel as if you betrayed your god? There is something about being used and cast aside. Perhaps Widewen himself felt it. There at the end, when the hammer struck. To be the proof that your god is hollow as the vessel it inhabits. I tried to find purpose and avoided all contact with other Magranic priests, did not seek the walls of Ashfall, and sought to make amends to my god through actions. I joined with the purges for a time, and not long after came the first signs of the hollowborn. So many cries. Trespasses, violations, the salvation. Animances were another sickness born of the Saints' War. A relapse of innovation, of desperation to heal what we had caused. All seemed worse than before the bridge, not better. And as years passed, the world became even worse still for the victory. Maybe the purchase weren't what Magran wanted either. Sweat collects in the sooty creases of his forehead and runs down his ruddy cheeks. It drips from the tip of his nose. His mouth moves, but his utterances make no sounds. He is, for once, at the loss. Feeling your gaze, he quickly composes himself. Wiping his forehead with the back of a dirty hand. Hmm? Worship the whims of some fickle bitch and you'll never be more than dirt beneath her feet. Worship what she worships, on the other hand. Take her fire for your own and her esteem comes on its own. Of course, by that time you no longer need it. Trial and transformation, sure as Durance taught. Durance glares at you, and starting staring into his eyes gives you the feeling of peering over the edge of a great cliff. You think to put the coals to my feet, but what's burned once will never burn again. These talks are your trial, Watcher. You cannot deflect the truth to one who has already been purified by it. Tell me what happened on the bridge. We chose the bridge because we could control it. Durin's hands tightened on the top of the staff, as if holding it by the neck. It was a place where we could choke Iotas in his own footsteps, where we knew his feet would fall, a narrow neck of stone. But it was more than that. It was a spine of the Deerwood, symbolic of its backbone. Such symbols are important in the construction of a weapon. Durin studies his staff. His eyes traveling long along the etchings. Any weapon. Durance's face hardens and his eyes burn, his eyebrows narrowing. I suspect Iotas knew that as well, and so did his vessel with its arrogance. His hand tightens on the staff. He intended to walk upon the bridge as if walking on the back of the deerwood. <laughs> and we intended to burn him with the light of our faith and his. Twelve on the bridge. Twelve in the shadow, and gave ourselves to it. Gave yourselves to it? 
We put much of ourselves into the God Hammer. Such a device is not simply a machine. There are elements of the spirit in it, even Wide Wind Spirit. Elements of the spirit. Each of the twelve who brought the God Hammer forth would have done anything to save the Deerwood, save its people. It is why we were chosen. Each of us, each of us hated this pretender. That rage, that spirit, that rebellion went into our work and went into studying him as well. Wait, when? Why? We all studied Wide Wind. He was our enemy, and he had provided the flesh the god wore as a cloak. That flesh made him vulnerable. I knew what fields his hands had tilled, his family, what he had harvested, where he had been born. We sought to know him, what had led him to fight us. Why was that important? You don't kill the god. You kill the man it inhabits. And you leave that man a ruin. Burn him to ash. The weapon was meant to not only burn his flesh, but it would burn his soul. And it did. At the cost of our own. And at the cost of our goddess's favor. That whore be damned. Is that why your image was blurred in the dream? Durance frowns, glances at you with a sharp look. Perhaps your eyes were blinded by the Godhammer's light, Watcher. <laughs> I may feel half a man at times, but even that is twice that of most others. If you fear for my spirit, your fears are baseless. The Godhammer, seeing its light, only fueled my anger and made me stronger, made me re-examine the teachings of Margren. Put them in a new light. Hmm. It looked as if there was only part of you, as if your spirit had been shared, shared in half. I do not need you to cast any more questions on me, Watcher. Nor did I ask you to look upon me without my leave. Get gone, and leave me be. Okay. As you wish. Since it all took a long time already. Little bit of all of you. Come on, I'm not going there alone. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that any of that to be honest. Let's just look around. Carved into the post is the name Merwith, and a series of notches labeled with numbers. The lowest notch reads four, and the highest notch reads seventeen. Sing, oh ocean waves of Ontrasur, ah, this one we already went through. The notice is sieved with age and salt. Edirian reinforcements advancing. Immediate evacuation of Ontras gifts by order of Duke Hadred. And again. Okay, let's take it. <sighs> Come on. Three levels. Do you count levels above? Oh, okay. Shrieking sobs pierce your ears and rattle the musty rafters of the lighthouse. They emanate from a spectral figure of a woman hovering in the middle of the room. Each heave of her shoulders unleashes into a hair raising wail. Away. No, we need to get closer. As we approach, the spirit's cries take on a threatening edge. The swirling mist around its like ripples with movement. The black pits of its eyes level momentarily with yours. Get closer. The spirit's screaming grows louder and louder. Its sunken face distorts, twisting into a long, gaping mouth filled with jack teeth. If anything were to be able to quell the spirit's rage, it would appear not to be you. Observe her. 
you're close enough to notice that the spirit's head is tilted back. Even as it loses blood crawling howls, the faint movements of its head suggest it's, that it's looking toward the windows and scanning the horizon. The scene wild ghostly hands are stained with something dark. At first you think it's blood, but it's as black as ink. This is a E. Okay, can we go further up and turn it? The logbook exposes a thick plum of dust. Six four for now twenty six seventy two. Foggy. Port four. One hundred fifty eight days since sighting the red dream. Twelve for now twenty six seventy two. Heavy rain. Two fishing boats lost at sea, 164 days since sighting the Red Dream. First, so, Tarautor 2672, dark clouds, Adrian ships on horizon, 73 days since sighting the Red Dream. Okay, so I believe we should ask about her, about the ship, maybe? Hmm. There's nothing here. Good day, stranger. Mm. No, you don't know anything. Uh, maybe the other guy knows something. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, or I need more mechanics. Apparently. Well met, friend. Yeah, for well. Hmm. Yeah, I, I do know that I need to level up my mechanics. That I know for sure, so for now. I don't think we can do anything else for her. Which is really sad. I mean it. It's extremely sad that we cannot do anything for her. Um. Let's go back to Katnua for now. Yes, we'll spend the whole day traveling there, but I need to think a plan through how to deal with all of those uh, side missions. You repairs and this keep will be a sight to see. I know. Return to court. Transworld Warren seems to have sent another messenger from the Duke of Palace in Defense Bay. The messenger is finding me in the Great Hall. Hmm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Prestigious visas are all. Now we can buy something new. Okay. Let's see. Bailey. Mm -hmm. Towers, maybe? Curtain wool? Or maybe barracks. It will allow you to employ Harlings to defend your stronghold during attacks. Yes! But I need to earn more money somehow. Hmm. Let's deal with this guy. And then I'll see what we need to do. Yes? Pardon the intrusion, milady. Chancellor Boring urgently requests that you meet him at the Chart Barrel in Parkinbury. Is it about Cat again? I don't know. My apologies, milady. I am merely a messenger. I'll meet with the Chancellor when I can. The messenger bows and leaves. Uh, by the way, where is my... Not this, not this. Shouldn't she be back by now? Uh... There she is. Mm. 
I have questions about Consul Holt and the Torn Bannerman. Yes? Who is Consul Holt? A feigned archmage. I am given to understand that the Brackenberry Sanitarium puts much stock in his work as regards the manipulation of the soul. His spells are widely circulated. But he is poorly regarded in many circles. Some call him a madman, or else cruel and barbarous. He must be very old by now. Perhaps that is why the torn bannermen believe they can best him. Do you know anything else about these mercenaries? Little enough, I'm afraid. The torn bannermen are well supplied and well organized, and there are rumors that they are backed by an unknown benefactor. Mm -hmm. They have proved remarkably effective in the past, and they are certainly a threat now. Yeah, I see. Mm, you mentioned an Earl before? The Earl of Yenwood. The original, in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfarth refused to defend, and he believed its wealth would be great. The keep was his way of defending his family's claim. And that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. They had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them the Earl. He dug his entire life and never found what he sought. His obsession became his sons and his sons' sons. And one day, that young Earl broke through. And he found the endless paths waiting for him. Yes, an endless maze. Incomprehensible in its construction. But, there w but he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents, the Earl among them. After that, the keep remained abandoned, unused, wasted. Meowall's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in two hundred years. How I'd long to see it as it once was. I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust. To witness my own folly. I think we went through those, actually. Of course. And you know what? Uh, I think I'll end this part here, and the next time we will go down into the endless paths. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon. Bye.